Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. If today is your first time, you are specially welcome. My name is Mason O. Jonathan. In today's video, I will be showing you how I make my Nigeria puff puff. But I'm going to be making this puff puff with yogurt instead of milk. You can as well use milk. You can use your powdered milk or liquid milk or pink milk depending on the type of milk you have in where you live. I do use condensed milk at times, but today I'm going to be using yogurt. And I'm going to be using nut milk too. And this is the type of yeast I will be using today. This is the type of yeast we have here. You can swear use powdered yeast if you like. And this is the type of yogurt I'm going to be using. You can use any type of yogurt. And I'm going to be using all purple flour. I also have vegetable oil. And I'm going to be using onions. I have also brown sugar. I like using brown sugar for my bones, my pork, and my bacon. You can swear use white sugar not bad so i'm going to start by mixing of the yeast of dissolving the yeast in water i have 500 gram of yeast i'm going to be using 200 gram because i'm going to be using 200 gram of flour So I'm going to dissolve the yeast with warm water. This is my warm water, not hot water, warm water. And I'm not going to be pouring too much. I'm going to be adding little by little. I'm going to stall till it dissolves. You can also use baking powder together with this yeast, but I don't use baking powder all the time. And your yogurt, you have to remove from the fridge to allow it to sit outside before using. We don't need cold ingredients for this pop So I'm going to be pouring the yogurt. And I'm going to keep stirring. So the yogurt meat together with the yeast. So I'm going to be adding my brown sugar. I'm not going to add everything at once. I'm going to be cooking it little by little. And I don't need too much sugar for this to fall. Too much sugar is not good for puff or bones because it will affect it when you are frying it. If you have too much sugar in your puff or your bones and you are frying it, it will not get done, but it will only get burned. So it's better to add sugar. If you like sugar, you add sugar after frying. And just put it in sugar and salt after, after frying. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt, not too much, little bit. So I'm going to be putting in nut milk. This nut milk is going to give it a very good aroma. With the combination of the oil, the onions and the oil. So I'm adding um, the, the flour. I'm going to be mixing together. I will stir. I'm not going to be putting all the flour at once. I'm going to be adding it little by little to enable me to get the right cup for this purple. So I'm going to add again. Mm. 
messed it. Then continuous powering. So this is not the first stall I want. I'm going to add more warm water. Just a little. Then I stall again. Until I get the right texture. Add more little water. And I keep stirring. I think it's too light. This is not the texture I want. So I'm going to be adding little flour again. So you just keep adding water or flour till you get the right texture. So I think this is okay. This video is going to inspire a lot of people because I do see people complaining of not getting how to make a pop right. When you watch this video and follow the process, you will surely get it. So I've gotten the right texture. Now I'm going to leave it to sit. I'm going to cover it with napkin and allow it. I have to. Oh, I have to test first to see everything is okay the sugar is okay and the salt is okay too so that's okay so i'm going to cover it with napkin and we allow it to sit for like 45 minutes to one hour then we'll come back again and I will be keeping it in one place. You can also work, keep it in one oven, not hot oven place. So this is after 45 minutes. You can see how it's looking, it has doubled in size. So it's ready to be fried. And my oil is already heating up. And I have my onions here. And I'm going to toss the oil with the onions to see if the oil is hot enough or to see if it is too hot. If it's too hot, the onions is going to get burnt. This is just okay. You can see the onion is burning and soft with the oil. And I'm going to leave this onion inside. That will the cocoa is very good aroma. Amazing aroma. So I have water on the side. I'm going to be keeping my hand with the water before cutting the dough. You can spray use your round spoon. I do use my round spoon at times. If you cannot get the round shape with your hand, you can use spoon. It's difficult to get the right. It's the wrong shape of time. 
In your cookbook, or both frying, you keep flipping. You don't allow it to get burnt. You don't allow it to stay too long in the air before flipping. And you keep on cutting on the heat. So I'm using medium heat. So when it's like cooking so hot, I refuse. So I just keep watching. color is changing. It's having this good looking golden brown color. So I will still keep on flipping. And the aroma is wonderful. The aroma is coming out. You cannot afford to say no to this photo. And you'll be giving it to it. See how beautiful it looks. So it's almost ready. You can see at this point I'm going to take it out of the oil. You see how beautiful the color is, the golden brown color. Wow. I'm going to remove this badge and I'm going to keep repeating the process till my bowl is empty.
so if you are watching this video you've not liked please like subscribe and share help your sister to grow so i'm going to keep repeating this process We are almost coming to the end of this video and I will want to say thanks for watching. Please subscribe to get the next video from me. I will see you in my next video. Bye.